Hello, I am Diego Lizarazo, and this is another video for the Game Dev Adventures. Today I'm going to be talking about Touch, the Touch plugin. And um, just before that, I wanted to show you, well, the link to my blog, my personal blog, also this is my Twitter. And you also can check my uh, YouTube channel where I put most of my videos. So let's get back to it. So I have created here a, a small, small project with a few sprites, right? And now the first thing is uh, adding the touch plugin. So I'm just going to double click like every other time and I'm going to use touch. So you see here that in the input before I do that, you have gamepad, keyboard, mouse and touch. Uh, basically most of the time I don't even, uh, don't even use mouse. I go for touch for some reasons that we're going to check here. So I'm going to add it. So this is the first thing uh, that you have on the properties and you see that there is this option that is says mouse input and says yes so what that means is that not only this uh, plugin is going to work when you have a device with a touch enabled screen so like a tablet or a phone but also it could get the mouse input it's not perfect of course because uh, when you're talking about like I'm touching it does not differentiate between like right click or left click you don't have that concept on a screen but still you can do most things that you would have with uh, touch um, uh, that would touch that you would you do also with mouse so now let's check a little bit about the things that we can do so I'm going to add an event immediately I'm going to ask with touch and you see that these are the things that we have. Uh, I think this one with gestures that's uh, relatively new with Construct 2. So I have I have them used uh, for a couple of times, and we're going to check a couple of those today. They are quite useful, but let's let's start with the, with the basics. The first one is like untouch object. That means that you touch an object, that you touch an sprite. So I'm going to double click. In this case, I'm going to go for the red one, and you stop touching it and you can do something with it. So in this case what I'm going to do is just to destroy it. That's it. I'm going to make this work in one explorer. We're going to see it. And then I touch and makes it disappear. Nothing happens when I touch other other objects. Now that is the 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 most basic option that you have and it's you're touching on a specific object. But what happens when you just don't want to do that? Is want to say uh, that uh, um, you could ask, well, on any touch start. That means that it doesn't really matter where you touch on the screen, it's going to do something. So in this case, what I am going to do is like, uh, let's add to this behavior, to this sprite, the bullet behavior. And I'm going to say that originally it moves at 100 and is disabled, right? So I'm going to put it over here. So then whenever, when there's a touch that starts, I'm going to enable it. So it's going to start moving. So I'm going to say enable. So if I touch whatever, it starts moving and I'm going to restart or if I touch the object, the red one, that also counts as a touch, it's going to execute both. It's going to destroy the red and start moving the green. You see? So it doesn't really matter where I touch, it's going to activate it. I don't know exactly what kind of situation you would have with that bad, well, uh, still, like, I don't know if you're pausing or unpausing a game, perhaps you could use something like that. What else can you do? You could ask specific things, for example, you could touch an object and keep your, uh, you, well, if you are using a touch screen, you could keep your finger on the uh, object. And only until you li lift your finger, the object, the touch, is going to, to end. So you could, uh, you could ask about that when, uh, when a touch ends, on any touch end, for example. Or uh, also if it's touching an object, so that means that that it's going to uh, it's continuous and when you're talking about the mouse it's that you are still clicking you still have the button pressed so what I'm going to do here is uh, okay I'm going to do this 
while it's touching an object and I'm going to ask for this one kind of chocolate one this one is going to create more sprites too that uh, those are bullets right but they are unable well okay I'm going to, to do it I'm going to say spawn another object that's the sprite and then I am going to enable that behavior so that it's going to move and where is that created it's over here so it's going to create green ones over here so let's run it so I'm going to do it not with my mouse you cannot see it of course but it's going to be with a touch screen and you see that while I'm touching it's creating many of them so so you can see it because it's kinda hard I'm going to modify this one and and I'm going to put kind of lines so we can oh that one I'm going to change the color white oh, something like this so we can differentiate when when they start and you're going to see why you see it created many so it's because I was uh, creating constantly so while I was touching um, and well you have other options like that like uh, um, uh, okay so this one it may be important has in touch is when you have a screen that detects several touches at the same time so let's say that you want to do a swipe with three fingers or something like that then then you can ask so uh, I am going to say perhaps this one on number of touch um, one something like this I am going to destroy the yellow one because it's simple right so I'm going to run it so for example right now I'm touching one touch and it's not doing anything and now if I press two you see it that, that is doing it, it destroyed so I'm going to do it again one touch and then you can see it right now on the screen and then I press a second one and it disappears so that's that's really good um, so right now I'm just going to check a little bit of the other ones the double tap this is really good uh, on also on double tap object so what I'm going to do is this one and I am going to make it destroy too. Doesn't really matter. But instead of like, look, if I touch, you can see it right now. My 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 pointer. If I touch the yellow one, nothing's happening. But if I do really quick a double tap, I destroy it. Well, I guess let's let's try that too. Um, this one. Yeah, that would happen in school. So there are several things that are going to happen. You see, when I just touch really quick, it creates those green ones. But if I double tap it, I destroy the yellow one. You see? So that's that's really useful, that, that gesture. And you could have it for several things. So you could create like a button that is not going to be active until you double tap it or something like that. Now, um, what else can you do? what about the actions so I'm going to say start uh, of the layout and, and you don't really have many actions here right you cannot do anything because you need something to be touched so then what if I am going to create a small object over here and I'm going to make it a uh, black so it's at least a quite different color from the ones that I'm making here so uh, let's do it here. I'm going to make it really small. I'm going to put it here, and this is going to be called dot, right? So, uh, well, actually, this is not something that I want. So uh, what I want to do really is to create a line. So what I'm going to do here is a, a same touch and the action that I'm going to do is to create a little dot in the position of the touch and that's really the cool thing I'm going to do create object I'm going to create a object, object dot 
and the position is going to be touch dot x and touch dot y right so this is how you ask for the position you cannot really have many actions directly affecting touch because well the screen doesn't touch the finger it's the other way around but uh, you could use the position of a touch so you are going to have something like this and you see that there is a small delay there and that's fine you see so that's that's really cool I think that's a, a great option that you have there um, apart from that uh, well I think that's pretty much it that covers a lot of the things that you can do with touch apart from that touch obviously it's a great option a great uh, plugin that was included with construct 2 and it gives you access to um, most modern platforms so like uh, tablets and phones so and, and in some cases it's really the only way that you have to interact with them and I think let me see because the other option that we have and yeah that's that's something else that we can do later uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it so well uh, again here is my contact my my uh, blog and my YouTube channel I hope that you like the videos I am going to try to figure out some other like quick videos that I can do that could be useful for you and please send me some comments some some uh, uh, suggestions and I will try to make more videos around the subjects that you would like to hear thank you